one of the main ways to mess up the implementation of your your Kanban strategy and not get the value that you're expecting, i.e. we're doing better than we were before, is to is to not look at the data. Right? I, I, I see this in, in in team after team. Uh they say they're doing Kanban, but all they have is a board with some columns. They don't have any whip limits. Um and that's it. They just have a board with some columns and they call it Kanban. Uh, I'm sorry to say, but that is definitely not enough to be uh, a Kanban, a Kanban strategy, right? It's just not enough. Uh, one of the key things that they, they miss out is, is not looking at the data or using vanity metrics. Oh my goodness me, the vanity metrics coming at my ears. Uh, uh, story points, velocity, uh, burn downs. Wow, get rid of all that crap. It's terrible. It's not going to help you maximize the flow of value for your customers. It's not going to help you um, see what's going on enough to be able to ask more interesting questions that allow you to change your process in order to optimize it. it th those metrics are not absolutely, absolutely not, uh, uh, not good enough in that story. Uh, there are, there are, there are four key metrics in Kanban that you should be looking at. Um, they're all fairly straightforward, easy to collect. Most of us are using digital tools today. Um, so you you effectively only need one piece of data. Well, if technically two pieces of data for each piece of work that flows through your system. Um, the date and time when it started and the date and time when it finished. That's it. Those two pieces of data. If you're using Jira, if you're using Azure DevOps, if you're using Trello, all of that data is collected for you. It's in there and you just need to render it in a way that makes sense. So if it's started but not finished, it's part of your work in process, right? That's your whip, right? If it's started uh, but not finished, you can also see how old it is, how long has it been sitting there? That's work item age. Um, if it's finished, if it's crossed that finish line, you know uh, uh, how many items you've delivered per unit of time. Right, so over each 30 day period, how many items do we deliver? There you go, we, we've got that number by, by just by virtue of that end date. And if you have the start date and the end date, you also have the cycle time, right? How long it actually took uh, to deliver each of those items. And then you can do a bunch of math, which is pretty standardized. Um, you can go or look at a bunch of pieces of information in that. Uh, but without that data, you can't see what's going on, right? Transparency, inspection, and adaption. Where's the transparency if you don't have the data or you decide to look at vanity metrics or metrics that don't actually provide you with anything actionable? That's the key. It is the data, what are you doing with the data you're looking at? How are you changing the way you work based on the outcome of that data? If you're not, you're either not doing it or you're not looking at the right data because the data is not telling you something that helps you change. Stop looking at bad data as part of your Kanban strategy. Stop looking at vanity metrics and improve your process. If you're struggling to implement a Kanban strategy, we can help or help you find somebody who can. Click on the link below and get in touch.